What is going on, everybody? RGZ here, back on the video. Here today, we're watching All American Season 6, Episode 15, the season finale. It's going to be a lot different after this episode, I fear. Um, Daniel will be exiting. I'm not sure who else is going to be leaving. We're going to find out, I'm guessing. Um, just interesting to see how they're going to set this up for next season. Uh, without Daniel, I really wonder if they're going to have like a really good send-off for him. Um, just excited to see, man, this Bolivia wedding is going to be crazy. Uh, hopefully they do it way better than Jordela's wedding, because Jordela's wedding, I'm sorry, it was just trash. It was not good at all. Uh, there's a lot of things that they should have did way better for it. Um, so I feel like it's Bolivia, that's the, you know, that's the flagship ship of the show. You know, that's the, that's the main ship right there. So, um, I'm sure they're going to do it really good. Um, hopefully we hear the vows and all that stuff, but, uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. And, uh, yeah, I'm just excited, man. I'm ready to see how they're going to end this season and end an era, kind of, you know. Um, it's going to be interesting. But thank you guys for all support. Um, I will be back for Season 7. You know, I will be reacting to All-American Season 7. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to be interesting to see how it's going to be, though. I'm not – like, look, if it's trash, I'm going to be out, honestly. Um, but – it seems like most of the characters seem to be staying, honestly. I, we've only heard about Daniel, so I feel like we would have heard about other people leaving the show, too, if they were leaving. So, um, I don't know, but we're going to get right into it. Hopefully, you all enjoy. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. We're almost 800 subscribers, and I appreciate you guys so much. Let's get right into it. Here we go. The entire sewer system's backed up. That's crazy. The venue's flooded. Flooded, of course. Yes, we are. Just not this weekend. It's gonna take him at least three days to clean up. Three days? And in less than 36 hours, you have to be back at training camp in New York. I mean, there's no way we're gonna find another venue in time. I mean, if we don't get married tomorrow, then we can't get married until next year. Damn. Please don't leave. I know what I said before, but we're way past jinxes. I just... I just really need to hold on to you tonight. Damn, yeah, my ship. I wouldn't dream of being anywhere else. Spencer? Hey, how can we help? I appreciate y'all. Really, I do, but I think I got this one handled. <laughs> Bro. Hey. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Uh, are you okay, man? No, she is but not. You, you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Is it a bit disappointing that the lead up to my wedding has been one disaster after another? Bro. Yeah. Does it suck that I have to wait till next year to get married? Sure. <laughs> sort of intervention? No. I'm fine, right? I am totally Bro. We're gonna take that knife away from her, right? Someone's gonna grab that. I mean, they look at Layla bro grabbing that. <laughs> just push our wedding by a few more days. Except you have training camp in New York. Don't you have a sick girlfriend or a son to say? Bro, okay, look, look, I'm gonna call. Why don't we talk to my boy Asher like that? Just a few extra days, okay? It is my wedding. I mean, do you really think he'll go for it? I'm sure he will. He knows how important you are to me. Bro, plus Spencer's the the mvp of the season i mean of the fucking championship bro he should be good to ask for a few days off okay he said absolutely <laughs> wait judging by how long you were actually on the phone i'm pretty sure he said more than that no nah, that was just some stuff about me being mvp and that was a bad look bro with the rest of the team if i get special oh man when are you gonna tell Liv? What's up, you good? My GAU law school decision just came in. Law school, what the heck? One of us needs some good news today. I got oh. it. Oh, Coop got in. I got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, Coach Wanta said yes? Oh, my gosh. No, I got into law school. <laughs> Yo, Lid does not care at all about that. <laughs> Coach wants you back as planned. Lou. It's okay. Really, it was it was a long shot. I can wait here. Truly, it's fine. 
Dang, it's slow motion. That's slow motion again. I just went down a bad path. Oh, the flash. Bro, I love the first episode of the show, man. I love all season one, man. 75k and 90 days later, I'm I'm good as new. <laughs> Are you? It hurts. It's fine now. Is it? Yeah. You know, you're the first person to even ask me that. Dang, bro. They should have got together then. Spencer? Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, so I'm throwing a party at my Dang. Place. I remember, man. Thinking about how just right from the start, Spencer and I have just had one obstacle after another. Yep. You know, the first day we met, we had oh. obstacles. Layla's like, uh. I'm sorry for being one of those obstacles. Oh my God, stop. If we are going to start. She was. The only for all the things that we she did was. In high yeah. school, we will still be here until my wedding finally rolls around, which is sometime next century. <laughs> Layla definitely was the biggest obstacle, though. She was their biggest obstacle in their relationship. Even though I love Layla, she was. <laughs> Wed me. Wed me. <laughs> so you're trying to get me divorced before I'm actually married, okay? I cannot bring Liv here, okay? Isn't this a better idea? Because guess what? At least you'll be married. <laughs> Liv deserves the wedding of her dreams. She deserves somewhere meaningful, somewhere beautiful, Wait. somewhere... It doesn't the beach house have a thing? I got it. I got it. Pack all this up. Let's go. I got the perfect Wait, spot. Wait, what's the perfect spot? You're supposed to pack your the beach house. Aren't they on the beach, technically? They can get married on the beach. Your psychic was right about one thing. Dang, bro. Bro, that is my most viewed video right there. That episode, that moment, bro. Like... That shit was iconic. What a moment. Oh, that dusty football field was your big yeah, idea. Yeah, what the heck? The hell were you thinking? How was I supposed to know it's under construction? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. It wasn't my greatest idea. It is named after her dad. That's all I'm saying. Yo, you stole those out of the lawsuit. <laughs> they got anything else, B? No, dummy. It's a wedding gift from Jordan. He gave me them yesterday. On his unemployed salary? <laughs> He's unemployed no more. Bro. No, dudes these days just do not know how to keep it cool. Oh my God, bro. I knew it, bro. I knew they were going to be friends, to, bro. They definitely going to fall in love, bro. What the hell are y'all doing here on a Saturday? And during the summer. About time I saw you, Spence. Seems like everybody got to see you this trip back except me. <laughs> We're part of the theater program. Voluntarily. After that 24-hour Shakespeare workshop, we uh, kind of found our thing. Nope. And it's a fun challenge. Like, we just had to put together this whole elaborate Midsummer Night's Dream Wonderland in, like, 48 hours. Khalil's actually in the auditorium putting the finishing touches on. You want to <laughs> come see? No. No, you're not getting married in a high school auditorium. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it, fool. Could you just help with something, though? Bro. Kalu, weren't you supposed to grab them since you got that fancy china shop out by you? Do I look like a fancy china shop negro to you? <laughs> and besides, didn't Spencer give you his credit card to make sure we have whatever we need? <laughs> I mean, Khalil's not wrong. You did have the credit card. Ooh. Of course you take Khalil's side. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what's your problem, man? Okay. Hey, I think hey, friend. Fellas, yeah. fellas, if y'all gonna fight, could we please do it after somebody finds my damn plate? <laughs> hey, everybody. It's all relaxed. Bro. Okay? The cavalry's here. What are you oh, doing? I'm glad all these people are here. I'm glad. Now, once this we hear about you trying to throw a whole new wedding together in their hours, how do you know? <laughs> well, after that football field fiasco, bro, um, I just knew you couldn't do this by yourself. So, I called in the big guns. <laughs> oh, praise Jesus. Yes. Oh. Peach tool? Oh, it's worse oh, than Oh, shoot. The Vita. Wow. wow. They calling everybody. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Bro, I appreciate you. Oh, man. Come on. Yes, Come on, Oh, why is she looking at him like that? What the heck? Are those two together? <laughs> Dang. Bro. Bro, that season was so trash, but that was the only bright spot of the season. Bro, they could have had such a good crossover idea would have been this them to call the homecoming cast, and that would have been fire, bro. That would have been fire. True. Are you thinking about selling it? Maybe. That'd be sad. Maybe she. Time. 
But Jordan and Layla need to move into the house. That's the perfect thing. For this next chapter of my life, and and I let this place become a love-filled home for another growing family. What if I tell you? Oh. I might have a solution for Yep, this. it's gonna be Jordan and Layla. Inspire you to take a leap of faith into the next chapter. Yep, I uh, know. Watch. I'll take the leap if you do. By the way, has anybody ever told you you're pretty bossy? <laughs> I like it. Well, uh, they gotta be together, right? Hey, <laughs> Beverly Hills. You know, listening is fundamental if you're really gonna make that top ten job. Got it. Right. Yeah. The flowers, car, prepubescence on the way. That Billy? Yeah. Mount Baker's really got that signature big head thing. You know, good, uh, good thing your dad grew in <laughs> There's not my dad. Oh. I think she told me who that is. Are you sure it's not him? <laughs> Bro. What, 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 what? What happened? No, no. Coop just got into Yale Law School. Oh, shoot. Yes. Yale. Is that no. in New York? We stay winning, Coop. <laughs> Why is Coop not happy? Wait, sorry, why, why don't you look happy? No, it's just, it's a lot to process. What? No, try again. Look, it, it's my good news. And you know how I want to celebrate? By getting you ready on time. Today is about you. So the three of us need to get changed. And you, Spence, you need to check on your girl. Because the way she's been blowing up your phone might not be <laughs> no wedding if you don't go see her. Like right now. Where you been? Okay, I saw you miss calls. I am sorry. <laughs> I should have picked up. I know you're pissed, definitely. <laughs> Didn't expect it to feel like this when we started finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> yeah, well, I am at my limit. Fortunately for you, we don't have time to get into it because we are getting married right now. <laughs> uh, now I'm lost. I found a justice of the peace, so you and I are going to go down to the courthouse because so help me. Right <laughs> today. OK, great, great idea. Um, we just got to make one little stop first. Show house. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I love it though. I do like it a lot. I can't believe you did all this. Yeah, Spencer, man, he's him. He's him. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. You deserve the wedding of your dreams. Now I know this isn't our original venue, but it's better. No, uh, they get all their money back for that other venue, though. They should, right? The gifts that Jordan gave us last night. That is actually who gave me the idea. <laughs> bro, why is Jamie not there with Asher, bro? Like, come on, man. All American could have done better. Oh, Denise is here. Oh, every episode is amazing when Denise is there, bro. I can I guarantee it, bro. It, it's it's a it's truth. She makes every episode funnier. But damn, I'm not getting no Jasher scenes to end the season, bro. Damn, bro. It's trash. Bro, the song. Bro, when Spencer started crying, bro, his face, bro. And then he let it pan to live in her face, bro. That moment was not about Jordan and uh, Simone, bro. It wasn't about Bolivia in Vegas, bro. Iconic. Liv's dress is interesting. I never envisioned the marriage was for me. Not because I wasn't deserving of love, but because I didn't think I was capable of the kind of selfless love that a marriage requires. And then I walked into your class at Beverly that day, <laughs> and everything changed. I never really believed in that it moment, you know? The one that I used to read about in fairy tales. That neat cute that happens in every rom com where time stops because your soul has met its match. That feeling was um, indescribable. Men are notoriously dumb. <laughs> so I didn't realize at the time that the earth shifted for me. Not at first. But once I did, I knew that every cell in my body had met its match. Oh. Thank you for teaching me how to love you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for showing me that this kind of committed 
soulmating love is something that not only am I capable of, but it's something we both deserve. And from this day forth, are forever, forever together. Let, oh, what, yeah, what, you gotta what? wait. Yeah. Oh, man, let me do my job. Yeah. Oh, you man. gotta wait for them to say. By the power invested <laughs> in me by the internet. Well. In the district of Crenshaw, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your damn. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Preach. Damn, where they at though? This is fire. I don't even know how to thank y'all. Oh, come on, man. You don't think we let one of our own get hitched without showing out, did you? Look, man, time and again you have showed up for this community. Damn near. Hey, Carried coach is there. Wow. Sometimes. So everybody jumped at the chance to show up for you this time. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Jane. Love that. Love it. Oh, not the Tim song, bro. Oh, man, that's my song. Dang, yo, they're killing this. Oh, my body. Oh, you feel oh, my body. Nah, they killed that, bro. Bro, <laughs> nah, bro. Daniel and Sam are killing this, bro. What the heck? <laughs> In my life, period. After losing Corey and Billy, I thought that was a wrap on father figures for me. Thought I'd have to figure out this whole manhood thing solo. But thanks to y'all, that ain't the case. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. I love this, man. But coach, yo, coach got to get better, bro, because he was trash half the season, bro. Man, Coop, okay, Coop. That's the reason why you got out there destroying the dance floor. With your <laughs> well, my best friends have something on their minds since this afternoon, so I guess dance is gonna have to wait. Come on, Coop. It's just you and me now. Yeah. What's going on? And why they getting in the yell for you out so much? That is huge. Yeah, that's big. That's the problem. My whole life, I had no problem envisioning a huge future for you. Shoot, for all of our Crenshaw crew. Except yourself. Ivy League is not made for people like me. Why not? Because I am a former rapper who minored in gangbanging. I ain't got no business over there. You got into GAU law, didn't you? Probably because of Miss Baker? No. Because you are a former rapper who minored in gangbanging. She did work hard, too, it seems. She did really work hard, so, you know, hard work, you know, Coop, it's you paying off. Brilliant. And you belong anywhere you want to be. You helped all of us realize our dreams. You got next. And that dream ain't got to be a yell if you don't want it to be. You ain't got nothing to prove. Pick the law school that makes you happy. Okay? Yeah. We all got your back. Spitz. Love you. Dang. Love you too. Dang, you can feel it, man. That thing was leaving the show, man. And it's just gonna be way different after this. Oh. <laughs> I have a gift. For you. The house, bro. This Easiest thing to read, man. She Things are so predictable. Well, the gift was Liv's idea, actually. Oh. Did you see how she didn't deny the fact that I have a favorite? Okay. See? That right there is exactly why I'm giving you to the house. Oh. What? So are, you ser are you serious? Well, Liv told me that you've been looking for a home. And with everybody leaving and your dad gone and all those empty rooms, it's, it's just going to be a house to me. But you two and your kids one day will fill it with noise and laughter and so much love. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Make it a home again. Just fell out of one of my dad's old playbooks. Do you know who that is? That's probably him, right? Looks like him. I was more curious. 
and worried until I saw your face just now. I don't know who it is. Well, yes, you do. Bro, not. come on, man. Come on, look at it. I mean, it looks just like Dad, but not. Now is not a good time, son. Bro, then what the hey? Please. That baby is Billy's older brother. You had another son? I didn't. Grandma Mary did. A very Yo. long time ago before I was a Billy a replica? Manager. Yo. If I may. Billy's twin? Yo, and they look exactly alike, and that's how you bring Billy back into the show? Bro, I'm down with it. I can't believe all these people showed up for us. Me neither. But that's what family does, right? Mm. We are part of Crenshaw. And they make sure we'll never forget it. One last picture of the happy couple. Oh, it's Grace. <laughs> Dang, bro, those are good pictures. Damn, bro, what an end, bro. Ah, oh, man, what an end. What an end. <sighs> Um, I mean, it was a, I think it was an okay season finale, man. And that's, I think that most of the characters are going to be coming back, man. I think most of them, like, I think Jordan, um, Layla, Patience, um, Liv, like Coop, maybe Asher. I feel like Asher, because they really didn't give him a send off. I feel like. Or really say anything about his future or anything like that. I feel like that he might be coming back. Um, it's gonna be way different though without Spencer, man. It's gonna be so different. I I envision it being. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Once Upon a Time. Um, it was on ABC. Emma left the show after um, season six, and season seven was just a blur. It, like even though there are parts where I enjoyed it, it did not feel like the first six seasons, you know. Um, Jennifer Morrison leaving that show after the sixth season, you know, and Captain Swan, and we just got them. It it didn't feel as good, you know, in season seven. You know, they really uh, tried to put a lot of things together. Even though we did get Captain Swan again in that season, um, it did not feel great, you know. Um, but um, I really envision it feeling like season seven of that show. If you guys have seen Once Upon a Time, if you haven't, um, I just really see it as a huge loss. And it's going to be interesting to see how they do it and what they're going to do. I feel like they're going to have to have some really good char new characters um, in order to replace Spencer's, the void that's going to be left by Daniel. Um, so I'm interested to see what they're going to do. Um Billy having an older brother, that's going to be interesting. I don't know what's going to happen with that storyline. They definitely played that in for season seven. That's why I think Jordan's going to be back. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, and, yeah, I mean, Spolivia wedding was amazing. Well, like, really, really good. I thought it was beautiful. The dance was, they killed it. They killed it. Um, and I thought it was really, really special, really good. A really good end for them. It's going to be weird if Sam comes back. So, um I don't know. I mean, I don't know how they're going to do that. But we haven't gotten any information about anybody else leaving the show. So who knows how it's going to play out. I love Jordan and Layla getting the house. I knew that was going to that was coming. Um, and, yeah, Coop getting into Yale. That's big. We'll see where that goes, what's going to happen. Um, and, yeah, man, I'm ready for season seven, though. I'm not, I mean, I don't know if I'm ready for it. But I'm interested to see the story they're going to try and tell and how it's going to feel and be. Um I think it's going to be interesting, man. I think it's going to be interesting and I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea for them to even have a seventh season. But if they're going to if they want to see how it's going to be, I mean, you know, let them see, but I don't envision it being very well received um unless they just knock it out of the park and like do something really really cool and good. Um but we'll see. We'll see. Um but that's part of the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. It's me, Bro Lizzie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.